Hey everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Watcher of Realms. And we're going on into the Conqueror Codex boss. We are going to see if I change out my team and do something a little bit different, how we can do. So I've built up a few heroes. I'm going to show you my first run. This is with changing my team from what I used last time, but this is the team we're going to stick with. So we're going to go Vladov, Cerberus, Aatrox, Volka here. Just making sure she had the right artifact. Valk, Abomination. This is a really solid team. I saw some others in the top having these heroes. Figured I'd give it a try and dust off our shiny new Vladov. So our first run, I started with different positioning, which I'm going to change later, but I want to show you the first attempt and see what we tried. We're going to start off with Abomination. Come on, place him. There we go. <laughs> Volka is going to give an Invigoration buff to someone, so she's got to be placed after. We're going to place Vlad off. I was really indecisive at first because this was my first attempt with this team, trying to decide um, how we were going to get started. So we're going to go ahead here and just let these guys take out the first wave. I hit auto, just let Valk do her thing. And I wasn't happy with the positioning, so I wanted to try it again. So I realized it wasn't going to work for where I wanted to place other people, so I moved some people up to the front. This was my beginning thought process. I figured I'd share that first, like, initial attempts. But we are going to show you our results and then... Yes, yeah, some improvements after the fact. So I had gotten the old team in there just for sake of getting some points. But obviously the goal was to improve beyond like S plus, hopefully. All right, so this allows me to kind of position everyone else where I want them. This is going to be kind of where we start. So... It's more the matter of figuring out who to buff with Volka, honestly. Like, which, which hero what deserves that invigoration buff, honestly? I think that was, like, my biggest question. So, again, we're not placing the others until we're ready to actually do the boss rush phase. Boss rush phase. Because Aatrox and Cerberus are just going to die soon. Uh, sooner, I should say, rather than later. If we place them too early. So I did decide to place Cerberus in the front, but then face backward just so he can attack when people start going behind him even more, more likely to. But they twist around and face the front. And I did use Volca to buff Cerberus. So this is going to be our attempt number one to get beyond that S+. Plus. So Valk I always keep back there because it makes the most sense. And we are going to show gear, guys. Of course, we will show the gear after. Once I have my most successful run played, I'm going to show you what I used. Ironically, the most successful run, I tried to further improve, changed a bunch of gear, and then could not repeat the amount again, no matter what I did. So apparently I need to go change my stats back to what they were before. All right, so Cerberus and Aatrox are going to start dying. Luckily, Aatrox is easy to um, place again quickly because he has such a quick refresh time. Cerberus is a lot longer, though, so once he's done, he's done pretty much. But this is looking a little meh early. I don't like it. We're only at A+. Plus. We just got to S. There's a lot of potential to min-max this gear. It's definitely not 100% perfect. I did move a couple of my best sets around, but not all of them. But I'm trying to figure out what's going to work for them. All right, and we were able to barely get Cerberus in for one other little burst before we got overwhelmed. And this was full YOLO, as you can see with the auto casting turned on. So not the most exciting first round. This wasn't much better than my other team with S+, plus, so we had to go back in again. So I actually did make some changes, and this was my best run. 
I do things a little bit differently. So let's see if I couldn't remember what I did differently. So I'm going to yeah let this setup play first. So we have Abomination and Vladov placed first. Just like before, we're going to kind of start with the same people. And just let them clear this initial wave. Kill the boss and then we'll add the others. But I did do some changes to gear. I think I changed some artifacts. And I don't, I think I still buffed the same person. Let's see. I'm trying to remember. This is obviously a recording. <laughs> so we're just waiting for that boss rush phase with silly me. I forgot to turn on auto casting to make that faster. It's like, oh, right. Vel could probably do her auto. But then again, we could save that for the first pop right away with the boss rush starting. But yeah, that was an oops. You could definitely just do that. Not really a big deal. Because you're just going to be YOLOing for the most part anyway. I can't see not. All right, so Cerberus we're going to place in the back instead. Aatrox to the side. or Sorry, middle. In front of him. And then Volca is going to buff Cerberus. Right, this was my most successful positioning. So I figured Aatrox is going to die pretty quickly anyway. But he comes back so quickly, I'd rather protect Cerberus a little bit longer and have those pools kind of flowing and killing enemies for a longer period versus how quickly he dies when he's in the very front. So everyone's going full auto casting. I really don't see too much of a reason to try to manual. It's just too much going on. And there's so many constant flow of enemies that I don't think there's much of a point. There might be a little bit of tricks to perfect some damage with making sure certain like debuffs are placed first, but it's so fast and there's so much going on that I really can't see that being a massive impact. All right, so here we go. Aatrox is back in. See, Cerberus lasted a lot longer. We're at A+, plus and he hasn't even died yet. Or he died a lot sooner last time. S, and he's still alive. That was what we want to see. The longer he's alive, the more those pools are going. They're not drowning pools. What the hell are they called? But yeah, here we go. S plus and looking a lot better than S plus last time. Triple S, that's really what we want to see. Or sorry, double S. I wish triple S. And this is where it's obviously falling apart. And our best damage though 119,000 I think that's what let's see or sorry 1.1 million almost 1.2 and here's our damages Atrox was the best but this makes sense because of uh, how I used him and using a different artifact that I did not originally plan on using which really really helped so I'm going to kind of skip through the gear for people real quick and show you what I got. We're really close to that other one. I mean, not kind of. I shouldn't say really close. So I did want to improve it. But after I went and changed gear, I made it worse. All right, here we go. We got Vladov, Soulbound Arcana. Ideally, not the best set for him, but he's not our top damage dealer. The Flux Pendant actually changed later, but that actually made things worse. So I just i am glad I'm... Recorded it all to see the good stuff too. So we have Wisdom set on Cerberus here. Not fully skilled. No Awakenings. And he's in Lunacy Visor. But we could see we could definitely use some levels on that bad boy. And next we have Aatrox here. He is in um, Night Terror. Really good crit damage on him. He's a beast. I put Scarlet Hunt on him. And I tried to keep him near uh, Vladov because Vladov is the one placed in the bleeds. And then Volka is in Invigoration to buff with as much damage as I can really put on her with my crappy Invigoration gear. She is Awakened 3 and almost fully skilled. And in Wailing Skull. And Valk is in Soulbond Arcana. I did change her gear but then, yeah, made it worse. A4 and Realm Tear. And then we have Abomination and Eye of Sin. I wish I had two of these fully maxed. I would love to put Valk back in that too. 
Not fully skilled on Abomination either, but he is in a Glacier set. And yeah, that's kind of where we left off. I made changes, made it worse. So that was my best run so far. I've definitely got lots of tweaks to do, but you could pause and see the stats if you want to for my gear. Not so bad, I guess.